Namaste, everyone. Welcome. I'm Lizzie Brooks, and this is Muscle Meets Mindful. Today, we're going to do a really quick recharge. So you don't have a lot of time, you want to feel better, this is where it's at. So we're going to do something we don't do a whole lot, and that's come to standing right at the beginning. So join me up at the top. <clears throat> And you can find your mat or whatever area you like to practice on. And, um, oh, this is Josephine. She's got a yummy little, little bone over there, so I think she's not interested in you or me right now. Um, but anyhow, she's going to be joining us. So <clears throat> she's always recharged. So from here, bring yourself to a mountain pose. Be maybe in a little bit bigger base and find your breath. Close the eyes if balance allows. And instead of assuming what your alignment is, feel for the alignment. So head over shoulders, over pelvis, over feet. Loosen up any held tension through the joints. Take a full breath in and sigh out, shake it off. Good, go a little wider with the feet here and reach up and over and take a lateral to any amount to one side. So you don't have to go way far over. Inhale, reach out, exhale, take it to the other side, opening that side body. Inhale, reach long, exhale, up and over. Inhale, reach, exhale, up and over. Inhale, reach. Now turn your palms up and draw your thumbs back. Plug the thumbs back behind you, shoulder blades onto the back. Coil up like you're doing a baby cobra in the heart. So if you're ever tired, adding a little back bend in, even this is a lot. Deep breath in, exhale, float the arms down, and then shake that out. Just look a little side to side, check in with the jaw, and then we're gonna come back to that mountain pose and we'll do a little march. So just start a little march and you don't need to do anything particular with your arms right now. Okay, just make sure that's all working. And then if you want a little more, you're gonna take alternate elbow towards alternate knee as you march, okay? So <clears throat> do they have to touch? No, can they touch? Yes. I really like this one, crossing the midline is really good for our abdominals, it's really good for our balance, it's really good for our brains. All right, so if you want a little bit more and you really want to recharge, you can add a hop and you can <laughs> make it as 80s dance as you want. Turn on those tunes. I didn't say that you were going to look cool today. All right, I didn't make any promises like that. Three, two, one, and back to that mountain pose. Soften the arms down. Obviously, you're kicking that heart rate up. Find your breathing, provide the right breath. Good, inhale, reach the arms up. Let the palms touch if that feels okay. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Let's step wide again. Turn one set of toes out to the short edge of your mat and come into warrior two legs. So you might widen the stance a little bit here and then wake up your inner thighs on both legs. Press into the heels, not just the ball joints of the feet. Let the arms hang down and then like they're just floating to the surface of water, let them rise up and put some activity through the fingertips as if that activity is, oops, sorry, I'm touching that mic. That doesn't sound good. As if the activity is coming right from the center of your heart and then gaze over your front fingertips. We're gonna go in and out of this a little bit. Prime the hips. Inhale, reach up long. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, drawing down. Inhale up and exhale, drawing down. Now from here, side angle. You can take the forearm down. Top arm could be up, waist, or over. Breathe here. If there's a deeper variation of this that you like to do, you are invited and welcome to. Inhale, reach back to that warrior two. Float the arms down, straighten that leg, turn the toes forward. Soften the shoulders out, check in with the neck. 
We're going directly to the other side. So rotate toes to the short edge of your mat. Find it in the legs first. Wake up the inner thighs. Make sure the heels are also rooting into your warrior two, gazing over the front fingertips. And we'll go in and out. Inhale, get longer. Exhale, dive in. Inhale, get a little longer, tall, lengthen. Exhale, opening those hips and shoulders and heart. One more time, inhale, reach. And exhale, warrior two. Side angle is gonna look exactly like you need it to look. Again, if that's too much for that top arm, put your hand at the waist. Or go into a deeper variation. And by deeper, I mean kind of deeper into the hips by putting one hand down in front or behind your ankle, maybe using a block. Not hunching, shoulders gently roll back, legs are active and supporting you, breath is supporting you. And we'll come all the way back up. Reach up, turn the toes towards this direction, which is towards your phone or your TV or whatever you're using, tablet. Bring your hands to your heart, deep breath in and sigh it out, shake it out. Heel toe in, or you can hop in and land with soft knees, reaching, bend, and exhale to center. Shake that out. So find whichever leg you want to balance on and lift the other leg up. All right, externally rotate that hip. So this hip's gonna go into external rotation and you're gonna, like you're almost sitting down on a chair and crossing the ankle to the knee, you're gonna cross. A little bit of a chair pose as the hips reach back, okay? Now from here, we're gonna transition the front ankle behind the lower leg. So we're just gonna go top and back. So you're rising up a little bit as you switch and dropping down a little bit as you reconnect. Forward and back. Arms can be where you want them. Forward, a lot of standing leg work, a lot of glutes, a lot of balance. Let's do one more and back. Hold the one back, reach the arms out, turn the palms up, open your upper back just a little bit here. Bring it back to where you started, reach up and see if you can keep that four shape in the legs. If not, let it go. Bring your hands to your heart. Now lift that knee where you started and shake it all out. Can you not get all that out of there? She's whining because she can't get all of the food, I think, out of there. I might have to help her. Bend the knees. Other knee lifts up. Externally rotate. Find your connection, send the hips back, <laughs> yeah. and from here, as you're ready, rise up a little bit, whoop, and come back. It is a balance. Up, connect, up, and back. Do whatever you want with the arms, and I want you to stay with this, coming forward for the chair and back for the chair as I get some of this dog food out of this little... That's right, oh my gosh, all the good stuff is in there, girl. All right, that's love when you're touching wet dog food during your video. All right, so let's join behind. Hopefully that standing leg is burning for you. Yeah, doing a lot of good work. And go ahead, come up. And knee up, I forgot how I got you out of this, so come on up. <laughs> and put the foot down, shake it all out. Let's go wide again. This time we're turning the toes out, heels in roughly 45 degrees. Bend the knees. So in our uh, warrior two, we had some external rotation, one leg, internal the other. Now it's equally externally rotated. Equally, we're all a little asymmetrical, but you get my drift. Press into the heels a little bit more to wake up the inner thighs. Press up into the ball joints as well. Soften the shoulders, soften the neck. Reach the arms forward here. Turn the palms up. Put the shoulder blades gently on the back and then use what you used before. Plug your thumbs back behind you. Then from here, wrap one arm on top, round in, open that back body. Inhale, come all the way up, I almost tipped over. Exhale, wrap around, roll in. Inhale up, exhale, other arm on top, round. 
Inhale, open, other arm on top, exhale to round. Inhale up and press through the palms now. Press through the feet, press through the palms. If you can wake up the wrist this way and press here, that's, that's fine. If you need to take your arms straight, also fine. Breathe, little lift, little lower. Keep out anything you don't want. So protect your heart center. Three, two, one. Turn your palms up, reach up, straighten the legs, bring the palms together if that works. Bring your hands to your heart. Again, let's turn the heels back and the toes forward and you can heel toe in or hop to center. Shake that all out. Good, all right, so a little bit of balance, ball joints of the feet to touch, hands where you want them, maybe at your heart, lift the heels. Core musculature draws back, which means pelvic floor draws back. This isn't just pulling the belly button back. Breathe here. Maybe reach up. Nice, and then float it all the way down. All right, shake it out. Let's turn towards the short edge of our mat. One leg is gonna come forward, one leg back. So you're in a lunge, kind of a basic lunge, and you're not so really, really deep and wide. Okay, so find your balance here, bring your hands to your heart. All right, so we're going to take our back heel towards its sitting bone. So I'll show you what that, lo that looks like. You might wanna watch this one first. I'm gonna lean forward, I'm gonna pitch my chest forward, and then from here, I'm going to reach my hands back and take my heel towards my sitting bone as I get my front leg a little more straight. Then I'm gonna go back into my high lunge and I'm gonna do that again. Pitch forward, press back, heel in. So this is working the whole back body. It's like a standing back bend without dropping the core support. Lunge, join me. Press the hands back, heel towards its own sitting bone. And let's do one more. We'll do four on each side and press. If you wanna add one more because the first one you were watching, add it on, and we'll join in the high lunge. Spin it back forward, shake it on out. So just a little note on that, I wasn't doing this, okay? That's a different movement. We're taking the, the knee to the belly. I'm taking the heel to the sitting bone. So we're getting that posterior chain a little bit more through the back. All right, so we're switching sides, other direction. And as you're ready, pitch the chest a little bit forward to help you counterbalance that weight. Press the arms back, heel towards sitting bone, open the chest. Slowly attempt your landing, so try to take it slow. Press back, draw in, and lunge. Twice more, in, and Lunge, last one, in and lunge. Nice, straighten it all back up, reach the arms out and up and exhale for a fold. So this might be a half fold where you're putting blocks under your hands. It might be a deeper fold, prasarita padatanasana is how you might be used to hearing it. And if you'd rather grab ankles or your toes instead of hands down, then do that instead. Keep your breath thorough. Breath is number one. Breath and intention are kind of tied and all of everything else is secondary. And then rise up a little bit here. And if you want, you can use a little hop in or you can heel toe in. So if you wanna hop, take your shoulders, I'll try to get more in the frame, Take your shoulders more over the wrists and even a little forward, lift high up here, find a little bend and lift, and then hop to center. If you wanna practice that a few times, hips and shoulders come forward, high up on the tiptoes, heels are lifted, little spring, pelvis comes high up and into center. All right, great. Come down for your hero pose, either seated back on your heels or sitting on a couple of blocks if that feels better, and add your breath. Well, it's almost been 15 minutes, <laughs> so aren't you happy <laughs> it's almost over? No, I hope, hopefully you feel better than when you started. 
So just pause here. If this seat doesn't work for you, come to any seated position that does. And just feel the beat of your heart, your pulse, the sweat on your skin, the changes in the internal systems here. So keep providing the breath that's necessary. And thank yourself for coming into that movement, taking the time and really using those 15 minutes to recharge, rejuvenate and reset a little bit here to change um, maybe even the mood. Let's go ahead and come down on to the mat. You can take your time getting there and hug the knees in, rock a little side to side, and then set the soles of the feet down. Take one leg up. You could use a strap here or just use your fingers around your calf or your thigh. Press the leg into the hands, hands into the leg. Breathe here. Good for the low back, good for the hamstrings. And let's just switch other side. Wherever you need to grab, there's some dual pressing in of the hands and pressing out of the leg. Or pressing towards the hands, I should say. Slow your breathing. And go ahead and bend that in. You can stay here and rest if that feels better for your low back or if you'd like to extend the legs down, feel free. And take time setting up your relaxation. Jojo always takes time setting up her relaxation. She spins around in a bunch of circles and gets her spine, gets her spine just right. And we can all learn from that. So thank you so much for being here and for recognizing that 15 minutes um, is sometimes all you need to make a very major, wonderful shift. Um, please do like and subscribe. It costs nothing and um, it means a lot. So any channel that you watch and get anything out of, go ahead and like and subscribe there because it um, lends credibility to the channel. Um, thank you so much for joining me and Josephine, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, Joji. Did you not want to say bye? You don't like yoga?